My beloved Xanadu, what cruel fate has befallen you in my absence? Something terrible has transpired here, wizard. The air is thick with sadness and... fear. The prophecy of war has come to pass. These streets should be teeming with Alfoy, yet they are derelict, lifeless, empty, except for those creatures. What are they? Shadow magic abominations, if I had to guess. Probably the twisted minions of Grandfather Spider's whelp, the Bat. I'm beginning to fear finding this Ziggy Stardust character is going to prove more difficult than we previously envisioned. I am too late. The prophecy has come to pass. War has come. But as long as I draw breath, I will not stop fighting for my dear Xanadu. And neither would Ziggy. If she's anywhere amongst this madness, the Ethereum is where we'll find her. Come, wizard, to the Ethereum. The crew should stay and guard the stream portal, as it is our only way back to Ariel. I will use this time to continue to refine the network. The agents of chaos think they can stop me with so meager a wall? Ha! Ah, ha, ha, ha! This wall is like nothing I've ever encountered, as if it was made of pure darkness. Just being near it causes me despair. Oh no. The land shall first be cleaved in twain with bricks of darkness mortared in fear. The prophecy of war. Xanadu is running out of time. The Ethereum is just beyond this pernicious partition, but I can see no way through. Oh, I hope Ziggy and Olivia made it out before. Hey, you there! I need your help! Please! A child? A king's duty to his people never ceases. Quickly, we must aid this tow-headed Alfoy lad. Shadow creatures. They're everywhere. They chase us. Worry not, gentle Alfoiling, for your king, Kubla Khan, has returned to save you. You? Your Khan? The Khan? Indeed I am. Right. And I'm Queen Shaka. But this wizard looks tough. Listen. I'll help you get wherever you're going if you'll rescue my mother first. We were being chased by a pack of shadow creatures, but mother diverted them away from me by running into that abandoned house there. She's still trapped inside. Please, wizard, you have to save my mother from those dark-hearted monsters. My mother is all I have in this world. You ghastly globs of gloom! Hey you, don't just stand there! Help me, please!
saving my life, stranger. But please, my son, he's still out there with them. You must find Benjamin. Mother, you're safe. Thank you, wizard. Thanks to you, my beloved son, and I are safe. For the time being, anyway. Can we ever repay you for your kindness and valor? You seek Ziggy Stardust. I'm sorry, but you may as well return to wherever you came from. Ziggy, like Xanadu, is under his control now. She's talking about the bat. He's the worst! First, he extinguished the beacon of hope. Then, he took over the Ethereum and locked Ziggy up inside! Then, he stole the Radiant Throne right out from under Olivia the Muse. We all tried to fight back. Honest. Even me and Mother! Yes, but the more we fought, the more shadow creatures Bat summoned upon us. Eventually, the shadow overtook everything, even our homes. Rather than continue fighting, Khan's hapless puppet, the Muse, convinced the Alphoi to flee from Bat and his shadow creatures. The Light Brigade converted the theater district into a stronghold of sorts. The Alphoi have taken to calling it the Comfort Zone. Now, what remains of our people hide behind a thin veil of denial and false security that the Muse manufactures inside her leisure dome. But we don't need them. Let them make merry with their heads buried in the sand. We'll take care of ourselves out here. Right? Ah, uh, that's right, my love. And this house seems like a fine place to start. Thank you again, wizard. May the light guide you. There you are. I couldn't get the boy to talk before he ran inside when those shadow creatures limped out. Were you able to question him? A bat caused this? Oh, THE bat. The one Pork mentioned, I see. And Ziggy's a captive. Blast! Did the child mention an Olivia the Muse? Retreated with my people to a stronghold called the Comfort Zone? Then we must go there at once. The Muse may possess valuable information about the Bat, and possibly a way we can reach the Ethereum. Come, we should update the crew. You're back. Sans Ziggy Stardust. What happened? Were you unable to locate her? Do I know where Ziggy is? Perhaps. How to reach her? Ah, that is another matter. Your bat has built a frightful wall of darkness to impede us. Well then, good thing we have Spark. Mr. Spark, how long until your stream portal device is up and running? Unfortunately, Captain, I'm detecting high levels of terror peptides in the air. I believe they are the primary component of said wall. Ah, terror peptides. I knew it. But, uh, Spark, you should probably explain why they're bad to Khan and the wizard. Of course. When properly condensed, terror peptides form a bond that is virtually impenetrable, even to streaming. The bat is quite clever. Not as clever as us. Everyone be quiet! The wizard and I have just learned that there's still an Alphoi-controlled area of the city called the Comfort Zone. The person charged to look after the Alphoi in my absence, an Aquilin muse named Olivia, is there. We must go to her immediately. This muse sounds impressive. Let's hoof it to the Comfort Zone at once. No, Pork. You will stay here. For your own safety, of course. But do not fret. A little waiting never killed anyone, right? Touché. I should probably help Spark update the stream portal anyhow. Wizard, you go with Khan. Halt! 
Turn back, you shadow scum, or suffer the full might of the Light Brigade. Shadow? Scum? Insolent fool! I am Kubla Khan, King of the Alfoy, exalted Lord of Xanadu, and I demand that you let us pass at once. All right, forgive me, your highness. By all means, do come inside the gatehouse. The general will want to speak with you personally. There they are now, General. What do you think? Ah. Uh, hmm. I give the wizard a nine. Quite authentic. But that con costume is an abomination. The one from yesterday was far more convincing. Huh? Oh, I understand it must be disturbing to see your king in such a disheveled state, but my companion and I need to find the muse. Give it a rest, tricksters. You can't fool us with this con act anymore. We have a shadow magic detector now. Light Brigade, light them up. Brigade yields. You win. Xanadu is yours at last. Shadow filth. Listen to me very carefully, General. My name is Khan. And as long as I live, Xanadu will never belong to the Shadow. The Shadow magic this wizard wields is our only hope to defeat the Bat. Now pick your head up and tell us where to find the Muse. Yes, sir. The Muse is in the Leisure Dome. We'll reprogram the Shadow Magic Detector to ignore the wizard. Go on through.
Malfoy of Xanadu, the time for fear is over. Your king, the Great Khan, has at last returned to you. Hello? My poor Alfoy, we must remove the pall of denial that shrouds their better judgment. Turn off that infernal thing about bubbler! Hey, what's your deal? We were enjoying those bubbles. Poor misguided citizen. Prostrate yourself and pay homage to your king. Whatevs. King Khan was 11 feet tall and could shoot lightning bolts from his fingers. Lightning bolts, you say? Ah, ha, ha, ha! Whoa, yeah, kind of like that. Oh, hey, you're not 11 feet tall, too, are you? My height is irrelevant. What is important is that I am your king, and I seek Olivia the Muse. Now, who can tell me where she is? With that kind of panache, I can get you into a spot in the Muse's personal entourage. Come here, you two. The Furious Khan routine's a bit overcooked these days, but you've got something. Real stage presence. I can work that. And the mysterious wizard advisor is a nice touch. So kitschy. The muse will love that. We just need to tweak your routine. Significantly. Routine? Stage presence? We've no time for such trivialities. Listen to me. I must speak. Um, no. You listen, mister. If you want to gain an audience with the muse, you're going to have to earn it. Song, dance, spectacle. Got it? First of all, you're going to need a real con costume. There are spare leisure dome suits in the changing room. Go put one on. Now. Scoot! As for you, wizard, you're obviously going to have to carry this show. There's no time to rehearse, so just use this choreography cheat sheet. There are only 200 unique dance steps listed, so if you burn through them too quickly, just vamp. <gasps> you can tap, right? Wizard, a word. Let no one ever question my love for Xanadu or my people. I hope the dance man has taught you well. When did my people decide that this is what their king looked like? Ugh. But if this is how we get an audience with the muse, then so be it. Be dazzling, wizard, for all our sakes. To the dance hall. I hope you remember the routine, wizard, because I do not think I can dance in this ridiculous outfit. Come forward! Let us get this over with. I am Olivia, the great and inspiring, known in the parlance of mortals as the Muse. Who are you? Olivia, it is I, Kubla Khan, King of the Alfoy, returned at long last with the assistance Xanadu needs to break the yoke of oppression. Silence! The Muse has no patience for the tired Return of the King Act. My attention can only be earned with equal parts razzle and dazzle. If you truly are Khan, then you possess the grace of a king. Prove it. Dazzle me with your dancing. That is our cue, wizard. Just try to go slowly so I can follow you. Who wants to watch a wizard dance? 
Not the muse, no! The wizard will work the audio trinola, while the king holds court on the dance floor. You must guide me in the dance steps from afar, wizard. Please, this is literally my worst nightmare. Okay, I am ready. Let's dance! We must put on the performance of a lifetime. To the dance hall. Blast! Foiled by simple dance steps. I have not yet begun to dance. I see, yes, simple enough. Like this? Aha! Your coaching is excellent! Are we not done yet? Yes, this is quite invigorating. Pay attention, wizard! You're making us look like fools! Your coaching is excellent! Like this? Aha! Keep it up, wizard! Do you not wish to take my place, wizard? No pity. Are we not done yet? Yes, this is quite invigorating. I see, yes, simple enough. I have not yet begun to dance. Do not tell me how that coaching has exhausted you. Your coaching is excellent. Like this, aha! Ha-ha! That was amazing! Even after all these years, you haven't lost a step, Kubla. Now get over here, you! We have so much to talk about! I knew you were going to be entertaining, but I wasn't expecting such sick moves, Khan. I'm totes impressed. Why, thank you, Alif. Wait, did you know it was me all along? Um, duh. Did you expect me to pass up the opportunity to watch the King of Xanadu totally rule the dance floor? <sighs> if you've had your fun, Olivia, we have important matters to discuss. Let us find some place quieter to talk. Seriously, you two should think about taking your act on the road. Anywho, are you enjoying the party? Have you tried the Galactic Cakes yet? No? You gotta try them. They are out of this world. Oh, I'm just so happy you're back, Con. I've hated having to do your job for you. I apologize, Olivia. I never intended for you to shoulder the burden of the Radiant Throne for this long. For that, I thank you. However, you are supposed to help the Alphoys stand tall against any encroaching threat, not revel in denial while it consumes Xanadu. Um, I'm a muse? I inspire people to greatness, not lead them to it. Big diff. Without their king, the Alphoy had nothing to fight for. 
think I've done a great job of keeping their spirits up and safe from the shadow. This party is more the Alfoy's doing than mine. Sort of. I understand, Olivia. Thank you. But I am back now, with help. And we will take Xanadu back. We just need to circumvent that shadow wall. Ugh, that thing? Yeah, as far as I know, you can't. General Electric's Light Brigade has tried, and no luck. Maybe he can tell you more. The Shadow Wall is the work of a creature called Bat. He's trapped the Ethereum and Ziggy behind it. To what end, we do not know. And no attempt to breach it has been successful. Hmm. Tell me, did you try going under it? <laughs> what? Do you mean through the sewers? Yes, your highness, we tried that. It's not a good idea. It's just too disgusting down there. Disgusting? Impossible. I employed the best dwarven engineers to sanitize them. Perhaps you just were not suited for the task. Wizard, you will traverse the sewers alongside Captain Pork. <laughs> Access the sewers through the fountain in Market Square. May the light guide you. Finally, you're back. Where's Khan? Dancing. Typical. What about Ziggy? What's our next move? Khan wants us to bypass the giant wall made of shadows by traveling through sewers so gross the military's afraid of them. It seems a logical plan, Captain. Such a strategy avoids their defensive perimeter while offering an approach with stealth. So you want to go? Negative, Captain. I am still making refinements to my stream portal system. I should not jeopardize my work. Uh-huh. You always were a clever one, blue boy. Come on, wizard! Full speed ahead to the sewers! Grief, the smell is actually not that bad. It almost reminds me of home, except, of course, for the crazed robots over there. Warning. Shadow creatures are not permitted in the sewers. Vacate the area immediately. Defensive systems will engage. Shadow creatures? No, we're not shadow creatures. You're probably detecting my friend's shadow spells. They are harmless, I assure. Shadow magic detected. Defensive systems activating. Sterilize. Sterilize. Sanibots? Sanitize.
Do not destroy them. They cannot help but attack. Darkness confuses our systems and causes us all to behave erratically. Please, let us talk. I am Roomba. Apologies for the Sanibots. Recent malfunctions scrambled our systems, making some violent, others inoperative, and me sentient. Sentient, you say? Normally I find the emergence of new life intriguing, but we have more pressing concerns. Can you direct us to the Ethereum? That route is flooded. The drainage valves have not been used in some time. If left unchecked, the sewers will soon overflow into the streets. Why haven't you done anything about it? Isn't maintaining the sewers your prime directive? My new sentient mind finds such work tedious. You can close the valves if you wish. The drainage control room is over there. That sounds like a dirty job. Perfect for a wizard. I'll stay here and discover all I can about this miracle of modern malfunction. I have detected that water levels are returning to functional norms. This development is pleasing. Interesting how things which bore the sentient mind also concern it. Good news, wizard. While you were out playing in the muck, I convinced Roomba here to direct us toward the palace district. Captain Pork has proved a most interesting companion, a prototypical example of such organic traits as bravado, egotism, and self-aggrandizement.
Don't forget my formidable leadership and rugged masculinity. Duly noted. Please, take care not to inflict permanent harm upon the Sanabots. They are addled by the ever-present gloam of shadow magic. Copy that! Wizard, set your spells to stun! Let's go! Wizard, do you really think you and this pathetic pig are a match for the bat? The most powerful child of spider? Emphasis on the child part, I see. I was expecting someone a bit more mature. Silence, you! You, you, you talking sausage! Uh, sir, maybe you should mm, let us deal with these intruders, huh? You wouldn't want to waste your time. Good point, Acolyte. Arise, bloodthirsty underlings of Bat, and dispose of these interlopers now! Now tell us, where is the bat taken, Ziggy? The Luminary. She's locked up in the records room, but she's guarded by Master Gr- Hey, hey, shh. He doesn't like you using that name. You know how he gets. Let's just get out of here. Still pursuing me? Don't you know what I am? The chaos that I serve? I am the dark knight that has washed over Xanadu. I am the shadow. So the dark knight's leaving us to deal with the intruders? Looks like. Pays to be the boss, I guess. Let's go, wizard!
this is over, wizard. We will... <coughs> we will... <coughs> ah, forget it. I hate using that voice. It was the boss's idea. Says we should talk like bats. He's been weird like that since he took his true name. I'm sick of it. Things were better when we followed the light. The bat ruined everything. Xanadu, the Ethereum, my larynx. <coughs> so good luck to you. Come on, wizard. Our mysterious stalker is up ahead. You dare enter my bat's nest? Where I come to brood and listen to music and write angry, edgy poetry about darkness? Oh, come now. I know the world has felt without aim or purpose since Khan disappeared, but this cannot go on. You're driving all the mamas and the papas insane. Scholar Grayson. Don't call me that! That is not my real name. Your light is a lie. Khan is a lie. I bring truth to Xanadu. I bring chaos. And all this time, you never knew, High Luminary, that the forces of darkness lurked under your nose. But now, you'll see my true face. Now you face... Nightwing! Shadow magic that you can imagine can cast spells you've not seen. Behold my power! Ah, oh, nuts! Yes. It's over, Shadow Creature. But there is one thing I absolutely must know. Nightwing. Really? It's the name I took to honor the Bat. The one who gave us real meaning without Khan. He said it was appropriately dark and spooky. Oh, Scholar Grayson. The Bat thought Nightwing was a child's title. That Little Red Bird would have been a more intimidating name. He never took you seriously. Your adoration was merely an amusement to him, and a tool through which to seize our great Ethereum. But Khan has returned. Place your faith in him again, not passive-aggressive creatures of the night. Help your king proclaim his throne. Khan has returned? The legend walks Xanadu once more? Does he truly glow like the ether itself? No, don't tell me. I'll see for myself. So you are here with Khan, wizard? Perhaps you are more trustworthy than the last agent the Arcanum sent. 
Come, meet me in the Luminary's office. You must forgive, Scholar Grayson. We've let our children lose it. Raise them on mere stories of our golden years. It's left them impressionable. I know the feeling. As a dashing man of the stars, I also tend to impress. In fact, maybe I could get to know you. Easy there, star man. We have business to attend to. Things here are worse than you know. We must warn the Arcanum. We need to tell them about the man who sold our world. Is that this other Arcanum agent? Spark told me of a previous mission by an agent called Medulla, but he was lost to the storms. Is that what you heard? No, no, no. Medulla is very much alive and very much not what I expected. He was here not long ago, looking for Bat. But before I go into more details, perhaps we should contact Ione. That object there is actually a clandestine comlink device. Go turn it on. Hello? Hello? Ziggy? Is that you? Can you hear me? Hello, Ione? I can hear you. And I'm here with some friends of yours. They're much better company than the last Arcanum representative. Tell me, Ione. Did you know Medulla was working for the Cabal? That news is... distressing. I can only surmise that Medulla intends to aid Bat's dark designs for the Raven Child. Raven Child? Descendant of she who bound the Chaos Heart in chains? Such a being may have the power to break them. So that is what Bat wanted. He must be stopped. Wizard, do what you can to help Ziggy. Find Bat. Defeat the traitorous Medulla and save Malori. Bat seized the Ethereum to find the illuminated manuscripts which describe the three paradox chains that bind Spider's Chaos Heart. Suspecting a child of Spider might seek to break those chains, though, I hid important pages in my estate. I'll show you the way. We must be quick. Medulla is on Bat's trail as well. And if his Cabal forces join with Bat's shadow creatures, we won't stand a chance. I'll go tell Khan what's happening. I'm sure he's been missing me. Travel safely, wizard. It appears all the nightmares came today. My home is infested with shadow creatures. Shoo them off before they find the hidden pages.
What a state this place is in. Still, looks like the secret compartment is intact. We'll need the both of us to open it. What you hold there is a portion of the illuminated manuscripts, the most sacred of all Althoi texts, the history of our triumphs and origins. They illustrate Imperia's very creation of the paradox chains that bind the Chaos Heart and the mysteries of the Stormy Aether. But enough history. We must take these pages to Khan. I suppose that means traversing the sewers. Blasted Shadow Wall. Lead the way! Shadow magic detected. Sanitize. Sterilize. Shadow magic? You're just full of surprises, aren't you? Guess we'll have to fight through these robots now. Let's dance! That was certainly unpleasant. Although, they did leave me with a zesty pine scent I'm not hating. But we must continue on. Oh, hello again, wizard. I was just pondering the nature of cleanliness. At precisely what point does a room move from clean to dirty? Sentient sanibots? You really do face the strange, don't you, wizard? Yes, the wizard does regularly find themselves in peculiar situations, Lady High Luminary of the Ethereum. Ah, it's heard of me. Of course I have. I have heard of most things in Xanadu. Now, while I dislike being rude, I am quite busy and must request you continue on. I scarcely believe it. Khan, you have returned. 
Indeed I have, old friend. Now we must talk. Not only have you rescued Ziggy, wizard, but you brought young Grayson here back to our side. He has been telling a most interesting tale. I know how the bat made the shadow wall. He built a machine called the Negativity Transmutator to channel the fear and hopelessness of the Alfoy. That's why all I could do was shelter them here in the comfort zone and inspire them to joy in song and funky funky dancing. Bat took the lodestar from the beacon of hope the very source of Alfoy optimism and happiness to power the transmutator. So if we recover the lodestar and restore the beacon of hope, not only will the shadow wall fall, the spirits of the Alfoy will rise. Problem is, I don't know the location of the transmutator. Hi, Luminary, do you know something? You clearly understood Bat better than me. I don't know anything about negativity, but it's a safe bet any important device is in Bat's Enclave. Your robot friend in the sewers seem to know a lot. Maybe they can point you to the transmutator. Yes! Roomba! Wizard, I would accompany you on this mission, but you'd benefit from someone with greater technical skills than I. Logically, Captain, would you not be better suited for such a task? Plus, you already know the environment. Mr. Spark, don't be so close-minded. Besides, I must stay here and help train the Light Brigade in my pork chop! Very well. Come, wizard. I am somewhat curious to see this Roomba the captain speaks of so highly. Wizard, ever since I met Ziggy, I've been pondering the construct of time. It appears time may change me, but I cannot trace time. Vexing. Fascinating creature. It appears to be a dwarven sanitation robot, yet clearly more intelligent than the norm. Such anomalous behavior in both Alfoy and robot cannot be coincidental. Tell me, Roomba, where were you when you became self-aware? It occurred after my last visit to the charging station. In fact, most Cenobots begin malfunctioning near the charging station. Then I posit that is where we will find this negativity transmutator. Let us go, wizard. Ah, yes. These poor Cenobots. Their mechanical minds do not know how to interpret the signals from Bat's machine, so they just go mad. Darkness. Everywhere darkness. How can we clean over so much darkness? Case in point, I'm afraid we will have to disable these bots to proceed.
feeling drained. Power required. Must charge. Interesting. I wonder why Roomba had a different reaction. Perhaps it was always more advanced, but needed its programming disrupted to notice. I'm detecting excessive negative impulse emissions from over there. Fleshlings, welcome to the nightmare that never ends. Fascinating. This must be the negativity transmutator. I've never seen such a complex interplay of scientific engineering and magic. Go deactivate it. Excellent. Now we must return this lodestar to the beacon of hope back on the surface. Mesmerizing. It seems even after the transmutator was destroyed, the wall had enough residual energy to remain, but the beacon has dispelled it. There is a noticeable increase in atmospheric positivity and a marked reduction in terror peptides, citywide. We should inform the captain.
Well, wizard, were you successful in destroying this negativity machine? Wizard, Spark, I feel like I've never felt before. I feel like birds have suddenly appeared, like... There has been enough singing and dancing, Pork. There is yet much work to do. For now, we must reclaim my palace. With the Shadow Wall dispelled and the Alfoy ready to fight, we have a chance to bring down the bat. Now we can be heroes! Just for one day. Upon receiving a signal, I will lead the Alphaway to create diversions, drawing away the Shadow Forces. While the Light Brigade and I engage the Palace Guard, allowing the Wizard and I to sneak in virtually undetected. Oh, that practically gave me chills. It sounds like all we need is for someone to light a signal fire to alert the Alphoy. Yes, the wizard will have that honor. Citizens of Xanadu, today we add our names to the illuminated manuscripts. Today, we take back our city. Everyone is moving into position. We must light a flare to tell Ziggy and Pork to begin their diversions. You can gather wood to burn from the dilapidated market stalls. And as for igniting them, we use a magical substance called Phosphor to light our streets. But Olivia tells me the shadow creatures enjoy snacking on it. Defeat these shadow creatures and reclaim the pilfered Phosphor.
Excellent. Now the hard part begins. When I first read the prophecy that Shadow, Chaos, and War were coming to Xanadu, I was terrified. I resolved to save my kingdom however I could. At first I sought aid from the Arcanum in deciphering the prophecy. I tried to leave Imperia on Coleridge's ship, only to be trapped on Ariel. Yet here I am, at the very place and hour I am needed. I will drive back this darkness. All thanks to you. I am in your debt, wizard. Once they defeat their pursuers, Pork and the others will meet us inside the palace. Now we must take full advantage of their diversion. Away! If these are the only guards the bat could muster, it would seem our diversions were successful. Yes, wizard. Can you smell victory wafting over the horizon? We will purge these vile phantoms from my domain. By the five lights, what are those? We are the agents of Medulla, eater of thoughts, master of minds, king of cognition. We are your doom.
know, Medulla's not that great. I, I don't know why I thought he was. He just sort of said it, and I believed him. I need to lie down. Why are you being so difficult? Medulla comes to help. We know you learned something from those manuscripts. Was it about Malori? Just superstitious nonsense. They weren't helpful, like you Kabbalists. Just a waste of my time. You're the one wasting time, Bat. We can help you expedite things. Just tell me, where is the Raven Child? This Medulla? He's clearly not the bat. I am not Medulla. Medulla is thought itself. The nexus of all living minds. The sentient end of all things. Yes, yes, we've heard the rhetoric before. But where is this mind meddler? Or the raven child? Or bat? I believe the bat was here when we arrived. This reptile seemed as keen as we to make him turn over the girl. Bat was not accommodating. Interesting. That would imply Bat is not as eager to accept Medulla's help as Medulla is to provide it. This discord may work in our favor. Your Majesty, if you would enter the throne room and reclaim the Radiant Throne. At last, I am back where I belong. Now, Lizard, tell me, where do we find the girl, Melori? Bat has her. Probably in his hidden lair somewhere under the city where he spends eternity studying, waiting for what we don't know. And your Medulla would be more proactive? If Medulla had the girl, we would have won already. Your city would be ashes, the chains would be broken, and Spider would be restored. Lucky for us, then, that Bat is dragging his heels. We have time to return to the sewers and find his secret lair. Come on, wizard, let's end this. Hello, wizard. You do spend a lot of time in the sewers. I seem to find that strange. No time to talk, Roomba. We have to find the bat. He's lurking down here, somewhere. Mere mention of this bat is filling me with the sensation you organics call fear. Distinctive feeling. I recall experiencing it once before. 
Where, Roomba? Where did you feel this feeling of fear? In the West Channel. So intense was the fear, I sealed the bulkhead and disposed of the key. No doubt Sanabots have vacuumed it up by now. At ease, Roomba. Fear is a powerful emotion, or so I'm told. I'll wager the bat somewhere in the West Channel. Let's get that key. Here's the key, along with excessive amounts of lint. Now, let's go open the West Channel bulkhead. Shadow creatures! We're on the right track. Let's see if they can tell us where the bat is hiding. in the runoff drain down there. Cabal Stooges! That brainy guy just won't quit. I don't know what you heard, but there's no bat cave around here. Brainy guy? Medulla? But why does he have to hunt down the bat? Why is Bat hiding from the Cabal? What is he hiding from them? You won't live long enough to find out.
Hmm, we seem to have reached a dead end. There's nothing here but that statue. Why is there a statue in the sewers? We should investigate this further. happy to see us. Did you hear that, wizard? We have to hurry. It appears Bat's bizarre basement belfry stretches even further down. This way. More of them. Scrap them fast, wizard. Why do you want my luminiferous essence so badly, you big-eared maniac? The poor girl's cries for help are getting louder! Quickly, wizard! This way!
mom, Bat. Talk to me. I'm so bored. Why'd you give up on the illuminated manuscripts? I know you hear me. Whoa! Who or what is that? My name is Medulla. But you can call me Master. Because this is officially a cabal operation now. <laughs> And these are my associates, Brain, and uh, uh, some prawns whose names aren't important. Uh, anyway, say hello, Brain. <laughs> I can't understand him either, but he's big and strong, and I like that. He gets things done, unlike some people. Look, you floating meatball. My work here is nearly finalized, and my father isn't going to appreciate you interfering. Oh, yeah. See, your father's fed up with how long your work is taking. Quite frankly, he's done with you altogether. <laughs> he thinks you're a failure, just like your brothers. That's why he asked me to take Malloy from you, because I get results. <laughs> Uh, all minds are open to me. No secret can hide. No will can resist. Tell me your plans and I will finish what you've barely started. Oh, stay out of my head, you parasite. Stop stealing my ideas. I'll get you for this, Medulla. But right now, you have other problems. Blast! There's no time for this! Franz, get the girl! And as for you, wizard, you can deal with pain. Before I strike.
Here's the key, along with excessive amounts of lint. Now, let's go open the West Channel bulkhead. Shadow creatures, we're on the right track. Let's see if they can tell us where the bat is hiding.
All right, all right. I give. Bat's lair is in the runoff drain down there. Cabal stooges! That brainy guy just won't quit. I don't know what you heard, but there's no bat cave around here. Brainy guy? Medulla? But why does he have to hunt down the bat? Why is Bat hiding from the Cabal? What is he hiding from them? You won't live long enough to find out. We seem to have reached a dead end. There's nothing here but that statue. Why is there a statue in the sewers? We should investigate this further. Bad bleep. Bad bleep. 
Solar Bat Blast. Bat? Bats? They don't look happy to see us. Did you hear that, wizard? We have to hurry. It appears Bat's Bazaar, Basement, Belfry stretches even further down. This way. More of them. Scrap them fast, wizard. Why do you want my luminiferous essence so badly, you big-eared maniac? The poor girl's cries for help are getting louder! Quickly, wizard! This way! Bat, talk to me. I'm so bored. Why'd you give up on the illuminated manuscripts? I know you hear me. Whoa! Who or what is that? 
My name is Medulla, but you can call me Master, because this is officially a cabal operation now. <laughs> And these are my associates, Brain, and s uh, some prawns whose names aren't important. <laughs> anyway, say hello, Brain. <laughs> I can't understand him either, but he's big and strong, and I like that. He gets things done, unlike some people. Look, you floating meatball. My work here is nearly finalized, and my father isn't going to appreciate you interfering. Oh, yeah. See, your father's fed up with how long your work is taking. Quite frankly, he's done with you altogether. <laughs> he thinks you're a failure, just like your brothers. That's why he asked me to take Malloy from you, because I get results. <laughs> Uh, all minds are open to me. No secret can hide. No will can resist. Tell me your plans and I will finish what you've barely started. Oh, stay out of my head, you parasite. Stop stealing my ideas. I'll get you for this, Medulla. But right now, you have other problems. Blast! There's no time for this! Prance, get the girl! And as for you, wizard, you can deal with pain. Down before I strike.
Well played. Before I strike. Before I strike. Or I strike.
I will wear you down before I strike. down before I strike. Shadow magic? I was born in it. Oh, 
shadow magic? I was born in it. Before I strike. Shadow magic? I was born in it. Before I strike. Before I strike. Ah, well 
played. for that Madula guy anyway. He keeps giving me enforcer jobs. I'm a thinker. I've got plans. Tell us then, where would Madula take Malori? Uh, I don't know. He doesn't tell me nothing. Bat probably knows, but he's gone. But that sidekick of his, Night Thing or whatever, he'd know. He must mean Grayson. Let's return to the palace. I'll contact Spark, have him ask the king to summon his subject. I see neither a rescued girl, nor the broken heap of my usurper. What happened? So now this Medulla has the girl that could destroy the spiral? Has our work here been for naught? Grayson, what do you know of their plans? Well, Bat always said they needed Malori and her luminiferous essence to break the three paradox chains and free the Chaos Heart. That's why they came to Xanadu, to learn how to extract that essence. Now that they know, they'll make for one of the chains. But which one? Well, Bat did mention a scheme he was cooking up on Athenor. Something about sowing chaos. Oh, the chain of fire and ice is there! Then we must get to this Athenor place at once. Oh wait, does anyone know how we get to this Athenor place? Captain, I have made great progress with my stream portal network. I am relatively confident I can get us to Athenor from the Ark. May the light guide you, Captain Pork. I have calibrated a new pod to take us to the dwarven island of Athenor. Once there, I can set up a stream portal and network it to the others. In theory, this network will allow us to stream to any island in Imperia where we first land a pod, similar to a world door, but more localized. Well done, Mr. Spark. Stream us up, wizard. What a landing! Oh, I think we destroyed the pod. Spark! Are we stuck here? Negative, Captain. I've set up the stream portal and it is functioning perfectly. It can teleport us to Xanadu or Ariel. Good. Now let's take a look around. Natives. Ooh, they don't look happy. Let's see what's wrong. 